Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on using sequences and series to solve problems. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it and see how you go. We saw in earlier videos that the nth term or general term of an arithmetic sequence was Tn equals A plus N minus 1D. Tn was the nth term, A was the first term, N was the number of terms and D was the common difference. Let's look at this example. For an arithmetic sequence, 5 is the first term and 4 is the common difference. Find the 16th term. So all we do, we make n equals 16 here, and we substitute a, n, and d into the equation. And that gives us the first line here. Simplification takes us to the second line. So the sum, sorry, the 16th term is 65. So that is the 16th term. It is 65. We also saw that the sum to n terms was this equation here. So Sn means the sum of the first n terms was that equation there. Example 2. Find the sum of the series in example 1. So n was 16, a was 5 and d was 4. So we substitute those into the above equation simplification to that line, further simplification to here, so the sum of the first 16 terms is 560. Just a little note here about terminology and vocabulary. If we write down the terms one at a time, that's actually called, referred to as the sequence. The word series is when we add each of the terms together. So that's basically the difference between the two terms. Practical application. Example 3. Bill now earns $26,000 per annum in his job. His boss tells him that he will receive a wage rise of $600 per annum. What is his yearly salary in his eighth year? calculate his total earnings during his first eight years. So here, the starting salary is 26,000. He receives an increase of 600, so that's D, and we're looking at a time span of eight years. So in his eighth year, so T8, is 26,000 plus N minus 1D. We've substituted the terms in. That's 26,000 plus seven times 600, which is 30,200 when we simplify it. So that is the salary in the eighth year. Now we calculate his total earnings over the first eight years. So we just substitute the terms again, but we use that formula there. We substitute the terms in, we carefully simplify it, and we find that over the first eight years, he earns $224,800. Here's a quick quiz to help you. Please check through the video at any time. The answer to the puzzle. What is the meaning of the following? Mad about you. I'll bet you like that one. And here are the answers to the quick quiz. And the video is at your disposal. 